Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. Today we are going to start a new chapter which is Gravitation. In the previous chapter which was Force and Laws of Motion, we have come to a conclusion that the reason or the cause behind moving objects or an object to move is a force or an externally applied force. Now force is the one which makes a body to move or it can also make a body to come to rest when it was moving and also it can change the speed or the direction of an, of an object which is moving. So a force is required to change the speed or direction of an object and it, it is also responsible for an object to move. Now let's do an activity. Now let's drop a ball from the top of a high rise building. Now when it is dropped, when we drop a, a ball, what happens is the ball falls down immediately and hits the ground. Now what we have done is we have simply dropped the ball. We have not applied any kind of force to it. But even though we didn't do that, even though we didn't apply any external force onto the ball, the ball starts moving and it falls down and hits the ground. Now why does that happen? Now here we see that the ball starts moving which means that there must be some externally applied force onto the ball. Otherwise, it would not change its state of rest and start moving at once. Now, this force is what we call as the gravitational force, which is exerted by the earth on all the objects near to its surface, because of which or by virtue of which all the objects at a certain height when released they fall down or they fall towards the surface of the earth. So this is the gravitational force or the gravitational pull that the earth exerts on the objects near it. So the earth pulls all the objects towards its center which is this way. So all the objects are attracted towards earth and it pulls all the objects towards its center like this. These are the arrows which are pointing towards the force that the earth exerts on the objects around it. And this force is what we call as the gravitational force of the earth. Now how did we come to know about this gravitational force? There must be some person who has discovered it, right? Now to answer this question, we'll look at a story. Now most of you might be familiar, already familiar with this story. Now this story is about a man who was sitting under a tree and an apple suddenly fell on him. And he started wondering as to why didn't this apple move to the left or right or it didn't move even upward direction but it started moving right away downward. Now whenever an apple falls onto on us, what we think first of all we would think how to eat it we would think to eat it but this man over here was genius enough was intelligent enough to think something different he didn't think of eating it maybe he was not hungry i don't know anyways so this apple didn't move in any other direction but it preferred moving in the downward direction and it hit the ground now this was the question that he posed to himself and he started researching for that and at the end he did get the answer for that question and that was a revolution. So here he had a question that why didn't this apple move in any other direction and the answer that he got was the force of gravity of the earth. Now this person is none other than Sir Isaac Newton himself. So the force of gravity of the earth was discovered by this person whose name was Sir Isaac Newton. Now, the pe people started believing that all the objects fall towards the earth because of the gravity. But there was one such object that people didn't observe to be falling towards the earth. And that was the moon. Every night they would observe moon in the sky but they don't observe the moon falling towards the earth the moon is up there intact according to the people now what happened is the moon was orbiting towards the earth but it was not falling towards the earth 
the moon was orbiting around the earth like this but it didn't seem to fall to the surface of the earth it didn't seem to move towards the surface of the earth now this problem was posed by the people of that time now to this sir isaac newton has replied that this happens because of the gravitational force itself so he said that the motion of the moon around the earth the moon orbiting around the earth the earth which is orbiting around the sun and also the sun which is orbiting around the galactic center is due to the gravitational force so this was the answer which was given by sir isaac newton he generalized this gravitational force or the concept of gravitational force so much that it could em embrace the whole universe itself he said the whole universe is held intact by the force of gravity or the gravitational force itself now how did it happen we'll look at this concept in the upcoming videos in this chapter now there are so many phenomena which we observe in on a daily basis where we can find the earth's gravity to be apparent for example the atmosphere of the earth is held intact by the force of gravity of the earth similarly the raindrops when it rains the raindrops fall towards the surface of the earth otherwise and this is because of the force of gravity of the earth and if there were no force of gravity of the earth these drops might have moved in some other direction or uh, or in an arbitrary direction now the other thing is that the third thing that is the river water flows also because of the force of gravity so these are a few phenomena that we observe most frequently in our daily life where we see the earth's gravity so in this video we have learned that it is the gravitational pull or the gravitational force which pulls all the objects down towards itself or the center of the earth towards the center of the earth and we have also seen that the force of gravity or the concept of gravitational force was discovered by a scientist whose name was sir isaac newton and he generalized the concept of gravitational force to such an extent that it could embrace the whole universe in itself which means that the moon orbiting around the earth and the earth orbiting around the sun even the sun orbiting around the galactic center is due to the gravitational force and we have also seen some of the natural phenomena in which we observe the gravitational force now why isn't the moon falling uh, towards the surface of the earth we will be discussing such questions in this chapter in the upcoming videos in detail so stay tuned and keep watching tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning